Spent 80 bucks at O'Reilly. I'm gonna pull this glass pack off of this thing and uh, just a straight through and I'm gonna install this. Unfortunately, this is like a cheap chambered muffler, 33 bucks. I got some tubing. I wish it came in longer lengths, but it is what it is. And then we'll just throw a turn down on it. My goal here is just to make this thing sound a little quieter, a little, you know, more drivable. I don't really hate the way the exhaust sounds right now, but for whoever I'm gonna sell it to, I don't think they are gonna absolutely love how loud it is. Um, so this is actually not very big of a muffler. So you can see it's kind of smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but it is chambered. So um, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. I'll fire this thing up here, just let it idle for a second so you can hear what it sounds like and then we'll get to work. So in case you were wondering what came off of here, this is the exhaust that was on here before. Um, this just looks like your standard glass pack. This may even be a super cheap, like O'Reilly AutoZone Pep Boys advanced special here. Um, it's totally straight through. You can see right through this thing. Um, obviously I did not do any of this work, um, but the diameter is about just under, um, the OD is like, 1.9 ish just under two inches um and like i said straight through it jumps up here to probably about i don't know two and a half three inches and then you can just see i mean whoever had this on here before this is some of the worst booger welding i've ever seen they blew holes in it you know it's terrible so that's what came off um and it was just terrible. So we'll go ahead, slap the new one on and then let you listen to it and you can tell me what you think. I've got my Miller set up for MIG. Uh, this is aluminized steel, so you will see me take a wire wheel and clean everything off before I start welding. You probably don't have to do that, but I do think it improves the weld quality. Another small issue that I ran into was uh, getting the muffler size to match up to the piping. So based on what I was able to purchase, which is only stuff that was in stock in the stores, I actually had to neck down uh, the muffler to get it to match up to the piping. So those are those extra fittings you see me cutting and welding on. If you were to order all this stuff, you wouldn't have to do all this extra welding and things could just slide right into place. Luckily, this was not a very intricate exhaust system. Everything is pretty much straight. I used the offset of the muffler to get around some things, but overall, super easy. I think it came out pretty slick. Uh, like I said, it only cost me $75, and that includes all the hangers, everything you see here. So all in all, a huge improvement over what came off the truck. All right, now that it's all fabricated, um, let's go ahead and fire this thing up so you can tell me what you think. Again, let's keep in mind here a couple things. Um, one, I spent under, and this is all said and done with hangers and everything, I spent under $75. Um, I did it all myself. I actually got too many pieces. Some of what you saw in the beginning, I actually returned. So it was all made out of uh, two and a quarter inch. And the reason is I could not find a two inch muffler or two inch piping at my local O'Reilly. Um, so that's two inch, the new one's two and a quarter. I would have liked to keep it two just to keep the sound down, um, but I couldn't, so it's two and a quarter. And it was all aluminized steel, real cheap stuff. Just bought the hangers, everything right off the shelf down to the muffler. So let's fire it up, let you listen to it. Um, I won't have a chance to drive it, so it'll just be here in the garage. So just keep in mind, if it's a little bit louder, it's probably because it's inside. Um, but yeah, let's fire it up. Let's $75 exhaust. What do you think? Um, if I'm being honest, 
I'm not in love with it. Uh, that being said, this is a four cylinder truck. They're never gonna sound like a big block Chevy. I kind of wish it was a little bit quieter. I was hoping the fact that it was much longer and it did have a chambered muffler that you couldn't see straight through, um, that it would be a little bit quieter. But, you know, just to the naked ear in the garage, I think it's a little less harsh, not all that much quieter. If I could do this all over again, I would have got the decibel meter out and measured it before and after, but you know, you, you're always a Monday morning quarterback. So, you know, hey, I think it looks a ton better. So we'll just cut to some shots of it. I mean, that old one was pretty ratty. So going from this to what you see, I think it looks a lot better. Um, I do have some more projects. I do plan on selling this thing, but one of the things I'm about to do is replace, and this will be another video, I'm about to replace what the previous owner did, which he converted to the later model uh, rectangular lights. The 80 came, uh, it's a 1980, it came with circular headlights and I'm going back to circular with a little twist. So these are just mocked up in place, but I think it looks a lot cooler. So stay tuned for another video. Um, thank you for watching. This has been a quick one. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something on how to make a complete exhaust system for your truck for $75. Have a good one guys, enjoy.